Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Cast and Satisfactory. Oh, Nelly, we got a lot of shit happening. We got a lot of shit happening. So we got lots to do, and we are put, making this big, huge push, and I want to get it all done in this episode, but I highly doubt it will. Um, as you can see, I've got a couple more little, little mini factories being set up right now. This is for Space Elevator Phase 3. Um, let's check it out real quick. So, versatile framework, which we need 2,500 of them. That's going to be a lot here. Let's see here. 24. Oh, we have a candy and a little calculator. Calculator. How do I get the calculator? I forget how to get the calculator. There we go. No, that's a quick search. How do you get the fucking calculator? Oh, God! I don't remember the calculator. Is it... Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, that is right. So we need 2,500 divided by 24 spaces, which means we need 104 spaces. Wait, let me do this again. 2,500 divided by 50 and a thing equals 50, right? So it's 50 spots. So we're going to need probably two containers here. Let's get another one set up. There you go. All right, that means we can don't have to stare because I came up here. I'm like, oh, yeah, everything's working. And then I just saw it was stuck because it didn't have enough. Uh, it had 20. It had 50 in here, and it, that's a stack. We'll stop it. So we got that for the for the versatile framework. So 2,500 of those. Now we need to work on the adaptive uh, control units and the modular engines, which here is the smart plating that will have uh, go for the modular engines. And the other two items for the modular engines are rubber and a motor. Well, I've got a shit ton of motors up here, and I got a shit ton of rubber down the yonder. I'll just grab all those and we'll throw a couple of manufacturers up here to put together the last pieces. Uh, put one for the last pieces to do the all three of those to make the modular engine. We need to do 500 of those. That's the big one. The adaptive control units are not that difficult. I believe that's a automated wiring. And let's see here. We can check out that recipe here just real quick. So yeah, we need... Um, Adaptive control units of the automated wiring. Um, hello, come back. Circuit boards, heavy modular frames, computers. Okay, I got computers being built. I got circuit boards being built. I got heavy modular frames, plenty of them. The automated uh, automated wiring is the only thing we have to do. And I got that in the computers. Now I did uh, I did a lot of offline stuff. I opened up a Caterium computer recipe which only requires three components versus four, but I'm doing it with the main recipe for the computer, which is those four items. Otherwise, you take out all the screws, you take out um, the plastic, and you just leave it with rubber, catarium, and circuit boards. It's, it's awesome. Uh, I did a bunch of those for turning in stuff for the, um, the MAM research. But So I got the down over the yonder. We got... Uh, woohoo! Shit, I got, like I said, we got shit everywhere. And this is all just to get us through this push, and then we're going to start talking about other things, because we're going to open up some organizational, uh, th uh, or some organizational items that will be helping us out a lot more, including uh, the monorail and all that stuff. And then we can start to think about moving around and, and getting, you know, setting up, like I said, a big warehouse with all my stuff, with the train, and then send it all over the place. So here we got uh, the computers being built. We got 23 so far. We need, like I said, uh, a bunch of them. We need uh, 23 so far to do the mo uh, mo the. Uh, we need uh, see 100. We need 200 all together. We've already got 23, so we got we're we're doing good there. And then we got the automated wiring here, which is, again I'm gonna have to set up some. I forgot that these things will stack and 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 clog up the works unless I do something with it. So, oh my god, my fingers. I can't get the right buttons. So, all right, let's get that in there. Now, this one here that makes 50 in a stack and we need um we need the Oh my god. What what are we doing here? Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> that's why I was like, why? That's, that's only an assembler. Uh, the modular engines... Or I'm so, yeah, the module... No, I'm sorry. 
the adaptive control units, we need 15. Each one of those will make two. We need 100, so we need to do 50 times 15, which 50 times 15 is 750. 750. So 750 divided by 50 is only 15, so we only need 15 spots in here. That'll be fine. We're good there. So we're going to be good. We're going to be awesome possum on this shit. Uh, you know what? Just in case, I might as well set this up. Just, just in case. What the shit happened here? This, no, that was not where I wanted it to go. At all. There we go. Alright. Boom. <clears throat> Alright, we got that done. And like I said, we got all these, all the parts, components being fed through here. We're good to go there. That's all going to run in the background when we do other stuff. As you can see, we've got the gas mask milestone. <clears throat> excuse me. Gas mask milestone um, ready to go, ready to launch. Because what I want to do there is that I want to get also set up at some point, somewhere, um, a black powder factory and the sulfur that I know of there's one sulfur up in one area but there's one that's closer to coal because I forgot I completely forgot I have an entire coal factory oh yeah by the way you'll see that in a second <laughs> we have a whole entire coal f a coal plant uh, extra coal plant for energy running up on top of the ridge up here over here and I for completely forgot about it. here like this coal here these I forgot that I have come I had because I'm using this for the um platform for the water and all that stuff. I completely forgot that I had that there. But over here is sulfur. And there's a, actually there's a, there's a there's a cassette tape over on one of these and the other one I think is maybe a might be a a drop pod might be something else not sure. There's definitely a drop pod over here. There's a lot of things happening that I got to get to that I can't get to just yet. We're going to get there. We're going to, we're, you know, but the, the sulfur is right here. I want to truck the sulfur back over here and create a little black powder factory up here. Because that's, that's the closest to. The only problem is, is that the sulfur pit, or the sulfur, uh, I should say, um, node deposit, is being guarded by those um, smelly walkers. <laughs> that's why I call them smelly walkers. I don't know what they're actually called. Uh, and I, I was thinking about, like, I'm like, ah, I'll just go over and blow them up. But to get there and get set up, I may need I may need to have uh, a gas mask to keep me because there's a lot of shit between there and you know everywhere else and I, I, I kind of did some scouting and I was like getting hurt really bad but that's you know beside the point at this point at this moment let's launch this puppy so we got 200 rubber 100 plastic and 50 fabric and we're launching that puppy and now we've got the gas mask. Gas mask. Will ensure increased odds of survival in gas-based Damn right. <clears throat> Fix it incorporated. Oh, it's going to be in the equipment. Extend the friendly advice to not forget to change filters regularly. Oh, so on top of everything else, you've got to have gas filters which require fabric, rubber, and coal. Which makes sense when you think about charcoal being a filter filtration item. So the gas mask itself where would be the gas mask be? Uh, sh Nikes. How do we build the gas mask? Oh, gas mask here. Okay, we need a hundred fabric. We need a hundred plastic, and we need a hundred rubber. I have all that. Let's go ahead and build that in a, in a second here. Well, I managed to find enough shit lying about to do this, so we can make the gas filters. We can get. You know, get some gas filters out of that and get the gas mask itself. So let's go build ahead and build the gas mask. Yay. Alright. And then we'll build. Uh, we need to build some more fabric. I did find. Um, it's like. Mycelia is hard to come by. Unless you go like like the Cave of Death had a bunch of mycelia. That's where we got an initial thing from. I'd probably spread out and find some more. But. That's the half of it. The other half is um, biomass, which, um, yeah, biomass, you gotta, you gotta get up all the leaves, get all the wood and all the other stuff, or or you can go through your alien stuff, like the um, hides of, you know, or the stinger or the leftovers or whatever remains, and you can create bio, biomass from uh, alien protein, which if you make the alien protein, hog protein, hatch protein, stinger protein, 
This will get you enough. And one of those, I mean, my goodness, look at look at the yield. One of those will make a hundred biomass. So look at all the biomass I have. So I can make a little bit of fabric here. Get, you know, three more fabric, four more fabric, whatever. Let's just get ten to be to be sure. And then you know the gas filters themselves we can make. We'll just take another filter. There we go. So let's uh, check this puppy out. I don't know how it's going to look on us. But how do we know how well it's working? How do we know how well it's working? Uh, consumes gas filters from inventory when in use. Okay. So let's hold off on putting that on our face right now because it's going to use gas filters. And I found that out also. I built the parachute as part of the, uh, the MAM stuff. And you see we've done now got mycelia, uh, nutrients, power slugs, and quartz finished off. We need to do catariums, the last one, but that requires rifle animo, which we need to get through the sulfur tree here to get to get the rifle. And that requires the smokeless powder, and the smokeless powder requires some black powder, which that's why we're setting that all up. But, uh, you know, that's that's that whole entire thing. Now, okay, hub's back We because we unlocked the gas mask. That was the last one we had to get. We got the gas mask to filter, and we got inventory slots. We got three inventory slots. Pocket dimension. Look, we're, we're styling with better, better pockets. Uh, now we're into tier six, which gets us the fuel generator for extended expanded power infrastructure. We can get the fuel generator. We can get the conveyor belts, Mark IV conveyor lift, Mark IV, and Katerium, which we already have. I think we unlocked scanning Katerium through... Um, yeah, we, we, we found 10 just on our own, and it got us a scannable resource for Katerium. Um, what else we got in here? Something else? No. Oh, the geysers? No, we don't have a mycelia in here. So, oh yeah, I'm, I'm just looking at... It says scannable res... I don't really care about... Oh, I know what it was. So, one of the um, one of these suckers, I think it got us a scannable um, hard drive. Scannable object hard drive. Which I don't want. I, I can't scan for a hard drive, but I think you can find it with one of those um, object scanners. I think you can locate it, like you can. You can do nuts, berries, mushrooms, and also um, power slugs. I was running around using it, finding power slugs before I used it to, to fulfill this thing. So that's pretty cool. So all right, now let's move it along here. Um, as part of everything else that's going on, we've got. The, the phase three building us um, computers for the adaptive control units, or I'm sorry, for the yeah for the adaptive control units, but I don't think we're going to have more than a hundred uh, left over after we get through that entire thing. That's I need a hundred of those, and plus I need fifty modular he sorry heavy modular frames, four into rubber and two hundred in, uh, encased industrial concrete or in heavy beam whatever. I think we can. I mean, we can get through most of the stuff. We have pretty much all of these things going on here. So we got this happening. So let's get some of these out. We got 108 oscillators. I, I, I got this thing making oscillators because I'm going to need them for the rest of the. Uh, um, I think I'm going to need them for the rest of the the sulfur. Uh, actually, no, I don't. But I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of things. I'm going to need them for, so I might as well just start building some of those uh, right, you know, to go. Uh, what else we got going on here? Let's. Uh, I think I have some. Do I have some computers hanging about? I might. Might have some computers hanging about. That might be great. We got 50 of them. Well, crap. All right, we can go take 50. We can borrow from our, our ourselves. We'll go borrow 50. <laughs> I hate to do it. I hate to really do it, but it's new. Yeah, I built the parachute. Those are one-time use, which sucks. And they cost a lot to make, so I have them. I'm not going to really use them, because we're going to be unlocking that jetpack soon. And once we unlock the jetpack and have fuel, we're we're never going to need to worry about that shit ever again. So let's. Uh, we don't even have. Oh my god, we have to wait for another nine to be created. All right, we need ten, nine, eighteen, and fifty-two. So one hundred ninety, one hundred eighty, and five hundred and twenty. Uh, do I really want to... Uh, yeah, we're going to be going over there to get more plastic as it is. So... Ah, <sighs> shit. 
let's just wait for it to build it. My gosh, this is... I, I don't have... Like, these are not efficient. They are not set up where I w would want them to be. Once we have a better footing on everything, we will set up proper factories to do all this. I promise. We're, we're, we're going to get there. And unfortunately, I'm not going to be one of those... You know, this is our playthrough is not going to be one of those ones where we're like, let me show you how to build the most efficient factory, getting you all this with nothing gone. I'm not going to be doing that because I don't have that kind of time. And this is all about the fun of playing the game, man. All about the fun of playing the game. We, we, I mean, and we need to find up. We need to find ways to get more stuff uh, socked away because we are really. And look at this. We've got a good amount of this, but it's inefficient because look. What do we need to make it? We need. We have a uh, circuit board alternate recipe. Which is awesome. Which oh, I'm looking on the wrong. I'm looking on the wrong thing. Here we go. Circuit board alternate recipe that we got from scannable hard drives. Which instead of requiring you to have plastic and copper sheeting, quartz, silica, or silica and and copper sheeting. That's awesome. The silica is just just sitting there waiting. The copper sheeting is taking forever because I only have one machine making it. I should put in a secondary thing. I just didn't do it yet. Because I, I was just letting it do passively. I really didn't care. Um, but we started getting really into using a lot of the circuit boards. So probably should have done that. Did I actually? Yeah, I actually picked them up. All right. Can we make... I really don't want to take from that. We have all the components, I think. To make nine of them? I mean, come on. We should be okay. We can make a computer in the bench. That's the, uh, that's the sad part. Um, we need... Oh, we need screws. Oh my gosh. Screws I have plenty of. Screws. I am, like, lousy for screws. There we go. Well, let's just make nine of the... Um, let's just make these and be done with it. Truly, truly should have set up just another manufacturer to create the um, computers we're using the other recipe. I didn't decided I didn't want to do that because it was going to require me more to, to, to set up everything else. But that other computer recipe, I said, was the Katarium computer with all you need is a circuit board. I mean, that's that's pretty awesome. Circuit board, rubber, and, and you know, you're good. The and circuit board, rubber, and Katarium. Um, where is my rubber? Rubber dubber. There we go. I have no room for this shit. Oh, great. Well, how about this? We'll drop some stuff off here. Let's just... We can load that stuff in right now, and then that'll allow us to pick up more stuff. That's like something I found out. Like it's like, just throw some shit in here. So okay, um, how do I? Oh, we can select the milestone, then it'll allow us that. Okay, get the computers in there, get in that, get in that, and then we you know, just go grab the rubber, rubber dubber, rubber dubber. Oh my, Ethereum is just overflowing. All right, whoop! I need 400, right? Let's just take 400 all together and we'll go from there. And my Katerium, I ran up another Katerium. Um, I, I connected the Katerium that's over yonder at the Spire to the other line that I found over there and now <laughs> I just got, I've got crisscross in the world with, with uh, stuff like that. So there we go. Let's go send that off. What is this going to get us by the way? What is this going to get us? It's going to get us the fuel generator. Awesome. And all that stuff. So yes, yes, yes. Fire in the hole. All right. Back in 14, 15 minutes. Oh, jeez. That's, okay. That's okay. That's okay. Next would be the jet pack. All right. Thank you, Ada. We don't care. This is where we have to actually start getting into the packager, and we can't do anything else. The monorail technology, we uh, we can do because we don't need to have fuel for it, nor do we need it for the pipeline engineering. We can finish off these other two milestones while we're getting this set up. Um, packaged, so you need to have a packager, which a packager is four more plastic and wow. So it requires, it looks like it has an input for fluid as well, which kind of sucks. So we're gonna have to. That's gonna go right over to. We're gonna have to. You know, what we're gonna do. I think that we're gonna have to hold off on to getting that for right now because I want to go get that platform set up. Now that I got all the stuff, I have the the industrial fluid buffer. Um, 
industrial fluid buffer, I have that. I've got the packager. I've got the fuel generator. I've got all those components. I can then go set up a platform to take all the oil, turn it into fuel, turn it to package the fuel, turn it into plastic, turn it into rubber, turn it into polymer resin, all that stuff that I can do. And supposedly, if I do it right, we can set it up and have like a buku power and not even give a shit anymore. But it's going to require a lot of setup. I don't want to do that on camera because I'm going to be taking somebody else's recipe anyway, or um, pl uh, layout anyway. So what's that matter? But uh, yeah, that's we're gonna yeah we're gonna do that offline, and I'll get that, and we'll do, do it next time. Um, that being said, we can get the other milestones done, the monorail. We can get the pl the engineer the pipeline engineering, and then we can finish off and get these things. We should be in good shape. This is going to take. This may not get done because you figure we have to get 2,500 of these suckers. That's going to take a while just to build that. But then we also have to do. That's just like being done automatically. The other two, I've got the components and I have to set them up. And I don't have them being funneled into some place to be manufactured. I'm just going to grab them and throw them together right by the, and put them in a manufacturer right by the space elevator and just feed them through there. So I'll have two manufacturers being fed in from um, storage boxes. And then I will do everything else. Decided to uh, switch it up a little bit. Um, where am I at? I <laughs> I'm like, I stopped to go do something, and I came back, and I'm like, where am I standing? Um, go in reverse order on some of these, because i got to wait for computers to be made. I don't want to keep borrowing from the space elevator operation, so I set this, switch this from super, or from oscillators to do the Katarium computers, since I have plenty of that stuff lying about. Just waiting for that to uh, get another, f get to get 50, which we're at 36 already, so it's, it's going pretty quick, because I got that thing supercharged at like 200% overclock. But, instead of waiting for, you know, those to be for the monorail, let's just do Pipeline Engineering 2, because all I need out of that is that whoops let's do that and that can send that off by the time that comes back which is going to be 10 minutes i will be able to have 50 computers excuse me oh yeah how about that how about that pipelines it's eh, not a big deal not a big deal but this is the big one this is the big one we got to wait for that to come back and then I can put in, I have everything. I got everything. Where, why is it not showing? I had them in there. I had them loaded. I wonder if they hold on to them. I wonder if it loads on, it holds on to them because I had them already loaded. Um, oh, I bet you it does because that now says zero. And yeah, see here, it says here 100, 500, 600. Okay, so I'm just waiting on the computers. Um, I have 20. I don't need any more. And then I have 50. This will... Oh my god, this is going to be so... I. It's going to take me probably... When I thought coal was going to be the big thing for me to have to try to figure out, monorails, the mo locomotive stuff, the train station, and all that stuff, it's going to be so much harder for me to have to figure out because I don't understand any of it. And I want to... That's my entire goal right now, besides the space elevator stuff, is to set up monorails in order to transport because I'm tired of traveling across the map to get to places in order to get stuff like plastic and rubber from over there. I want to have all that stuff built in one location, map, you know, try, you know I've been saying this for like for episodes now, trucked to a centralized fact, like a, a warehouse, like a huge ass warehouse where all my stuff is at. And then from there, grab for other things. I don't want to have to, I, I want to, you know, I want to have a waypoint. Put everything into a location and then have trains like say okay i've got let's say i have an operation for computers or i have an operation for supercomputers or i have an operation for one of these things there's going to be trains that are going to run from the where the central warehousing to grab the components like be little loops little like venn diagrams you know kind of things of, of, of interlocking that's my that's my goal i could be wrong i mean i was wrong about the how the geysers work the geysers don't really put out that much energy and even if you set up those uh, power storage, I think it still requires a lot of setup to um, to get it going. I had to, I had both geysers, I had two geysers tapped into um, one set of like six 
power storage, and it was taking forever to get them to set up. But now, once that's set up, it's 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 added to the grid, and it's always going to be there. But it's not going to be. It's going to fluctuate. My, you know, I might not be hitting my threshold for what I have in in production versus consumption, but I'm not going to be able to go anywhere near it because it could fluctuate up and down based on that battery. But the battery seemed to still be at 100%, so I'm not extremely worried. Once we get fuel and all that stuff set up over at the coal area that should solve a lot of our problems and then we have to go figure out um, we have to go figure out nuclear power because nuclear pasta is a thing I guess and I know up on that top of that ridge up there there is one uranium I know over there there's a bunch of uranium you can't even get close to it I have to build a hazmat suit I don't know if that might be in tier 7 or 8 once we unlock those from doing the like you know we got what's 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 left 7 or 8 we got a we get a complete space elevator you know three and then that oh, unlocks that so let's uh we got six more minutes for that to happen let's take a little break from this come back in a minute you'll you know instantaneous for you we'll see how things are going i think i might have did my math wrong but totally in my favor i set up i set up a ton of shit to build computers here and i got a lot of stuff still left over and i've already got almost 50 computers built but I and, and I only and I think 50 computers will make a hundred adaptive control units because I think it's one computer will make two. So if one makes two, then 50 should make a hundred. Well, that's just swell. That's just freaking swell. Okay, so then we can maybe get this thing set up and have it ready to go. We'll see how bad that goes. Uh, let's get let's get back up. I have 50 computers that I got from my Katerium outfit. I want to unlock all that shit on the net because I think the uh, thing is back. I think it's back. And I watch update eight come through and just destroy everything I have with this power setup. <laughs> I have a feeling it will. Okay, boom. Let's go. Bye bye. All right. Oh, I a celebratory used. nut. A new set of buildings <laughs> and vehicles needed for long-range transportation that just sounded has horrible. been made available. All together. All right, so... In addition to built-in power conduction, rails-based transit ensures yeah. increased efficiency and reliability. Whatever. All right, we need to do 50 packaged fuel. And I'm going to need a packager to do that. I don't think I can build that anywhere else. Because it requires liquid, and I can't liquid... I can't liquid this shit. So we're going to have to go over and do all that. But like I said, that's not... I will, I will do that to get it done, but I will also set up the entire shebang to have it, you know, working correctly. Uh, the way I want it to. Set up everything. You know. Whatever. Uh, that being said, that leaves me that. Let's go, uh, let's... What's it take to make... What's it take to build a manufacturer? What's it take to build a manufacturer? It takes, uh... Everything we already have. And we have enough to make two. Well, let's do it. Let's get them set up. Up at the... Uh, I can just tap into the power grid from where I had the setup for Fixmas. So we're going to do this. We're going to set up two manufacturers right here and then say two manufacturers. A creature. Get the out of the way, yo. Get... Come on, Toucan Sam, move your ass. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, you shnanky. Uh, yikes. All right, let's... Let's look at it from this way, first of all. So let's... Let's get that... Let's, let's move that over some. There. And let's put this one here. And then we put uh, our storage container here. No. Yeah. All right. So there we go. Now, 
that's how we're going to have that. Let's get this set up to do modular engines. And this one to set up to do adaptive control units. We're going to set all of our versatile framework in there. This requires 55. This requires 55. Uh, we should have... Sweet lord, what are you doing? Okay, let's... We'll, we'll take it further up line. Uh, come on. Wait, come on, yo! Alright, let's... Wire's too long. Jeez! Alright. Wire to that. Wire to that. Wow, I really didn't plan this out at good at all. Holy shnikes, what the hell? <laughs> wow. Wow, that's just really bad. Oh my gosh. This is what you pay for, folks. I mean, you don't even pay for it, but still. Alright, let's... Just set right in front of here. Ah, uh, who cares about clipping at this point? Who cares about clipping? All right. There you go. The last. The last thing that we need to do is just get the shit and get it in there. <laughs> Look at this shit! Oi! So, okay, you haven't seen it for a while. Let's go check it out, first of all. We'll walk you through all this. Again, this is all crudely designed. I don't give a shit at this moment. I'm not going to worry about it. But you can see we've got a ton of crap happening up here on top of the ridge. We've got uh, two uh, oil extractors yanking shit out. And I've got three refineries going all right all right uh, it's not like it's not pretty I trust me I know it's not pretty I don't have to get flamed in the comments over it once making polymer resin which uh, the byproduct of course is fuel which goes all the way through this crap and now, again I set this up and then did it backwards then we've got uh, the the second one which is making plastic and the byproduct on that is heavy oil residue all right so that's going into that line over there, which now I've attached fluid buffers to sort of take the overflow and keep me, you know, keep me putting more out. Because once these buffers fill up, then you stop production. Once those pull up, the buffers stop. You know, it's it, you got to have something to, 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 to put it somewhere. The next thing is uh, the rubber, which is uh, oil oil heavy residue. Heavy oil residue is the byproduct into rubber. Now I've got. You know, let's just do that. We flush the entire pipe network. It'll start producing again. And I've got rubber coming back out. I'm going to need some more rubber. But I'm not going to have a lot more for rubber. But that being said, my plastic, my plastic was getting so overflowed that I need, I siphoned some off of there. I siphoned some off of there in order to get the packaged fuel. The first step of that is to make the 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 empty packaging, uh, the empty fuel canister, which we have the, I, I don't want to lose all of them. I don't want to convert everything into um, a canister. I just want some. I'm, I'm going to buy, you know, siphon off to that for the, for the moment. And then I got to come down here and we got a constructor that's making the four empty canisters. Okay, fine. I need 50 packaged fuel in order to uh, complete the, the milestone. And that's coming down here. That's coming down here. We've got fuel coming out of the one um, refinery as a byproduct coming down here into the pa and this is coming into the packager and then the empty canisters coming out of here down into the to the packager in order to make and I've already got a, I've already got a hundred this is going to get out of hand it's going to get out of hand really fast and we'll be lucky to live through it this business will be out of hand we'll be lucky to live through it the late great um, 
the late great Fred Dalton Thompson from uh, Pun for an October there. Y'all. Y'all. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's see if we can try to get this yeehaw in there. Okay. So, uh, yeah. This, this. Now, this being said, we've got packaged fuel being produced. Holy crap, we got a lot of packaged fuel being produced. <laughs> it's nuts, man. It's freaking nuts. Look at this. is just ridiculousness. Just ridiculousness. Oh my gosh, look at all this shit happening. God sakes. Alrighty, let's, uh... But, what is that? That's like... Oh, my, my failed attempt at trying to set this up another way. But this is already going to be, like... Insane. Um, let's... We need 50. Let's just take those. That'll... Get, uh, I want to get rid of those. I can't do anything with them. Let's just take them back for now. But yeah, that's it. We we now that's tier six. Let's get back over to the hub. Hubs, our last milestone that we can do for the moment uh, is the uh, jetpack. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is insane. So there we go. We got fifty of those. We got uh, what did I need to do that, that. Oh, I need some more plastic. I have plenty of plastic. Don't worry about that. Do not worry about that. I've got plastic. I've got plastic somewhere. I know I do. I've got plastic. Aha! Plastic. There we go. This mess is... I can't... It's almost enough... Too much for me to handle. But for now, it's, it's, it's necessary. There we go. Get it in there. Launch that bitch. Tier 6. Done. R&D Tier five. Your pocket dimension Done. has provided a jetpack which operates Done. on oil-based fuel for increased navigational capabilities as well as odds of survival. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So that jetpack they gave us inventory slots. It gave us three more inventory slots, which is great, and the ability to build the jetpack. Now, whew, how do we build such a beast? How do we build the jetpack? We need. Plastic. We need uh, rubber. We need circuit boards, and we need motors. Oh God! Oh my gosh! We've got it all right here. We do. We've got it all right here. We can build it. We can build the jetpack. Oh, bitch! This is gonna be fun. Woo! -hoo! Thirty steps to building a jetpack, and now with all that packaged fuel, I think the fuel—if it runs off of fuel. Boom! Okay. Boom. Jetpack on our back. Oh gosh, how do we? How do we? <gasps> oh my, it runs through a lot of shit, don't it? Oh, ah! Oh, you got it really. Hmm. That's not great. We probably need better fuel for it. I don't know what fuel it takes at the moment. Let a diesel, who knows. But now, with this on our back, we can not die. Oh, there's another... I can see a slug from here. Anyways. Wow, that's it. So, yeah, we've got... We've still got so much stuff being done. I think we're going to be... I think we're going to be done for the time being. We've got... 22 more computers. We probably ran out of... Oh, God, I'm stuck! No! No! Shit. Are you kidding me? Are you flipping kidding me? I have a jetpack on my back. I haven't died from that, and I'm, gonna, I'm stuck in between two... Compo oh, dear. Lord. God. That is some straight-up bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I don't. I don't need to do that right now. Lord, we gotta put all of our clothes back on. We're we are undressed. We are not dressed for success at all. Um, yeah. So, whew. boy, that's 
yeah. Well, so, well okay. We, we got plenty of stuff we can be doing. There's a lot of... Oh, yeah, there's a couple of things I haven't blown up. I need to blow up some stuff. Um, quite frankly. Because we've got um, some holes to do. To, to do. There's, there's, a, I, I, there's a cave with spiders over there. I know that for sure. I've, I've seen a bunch of other um, things that need to be blown up that have stuff underneath them. One, actually, I could... I, it, it clipped through. I didn't have to. It clipped through, and that was great. Uh, what's happening here? Why do, what, what do we run out of here? Uh, we're still constructing, but we've only got... 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. We've only got... F don't even have 600. We're a third of the way there. Fourth of, fourth of the way there, whatever. Quarter of the way there. That's so Like I said, we're not going to get done today. But we've got these things plowing through and, and doing it. And they're going slow. Next time, these will be ready. The next time, we are going to complete the space elevator uh, phase three. But for now, uh, that's all we're going to be doing. And then we got to really figure this. we got to redo all this stuff. I think we need to... Uh, so, let's game this out in my brain. We'll work on Space Elevator Phase 3, because that'll have to build all the components, the, the the engines and the adaptive control units while we're doing stuff. We can't do anything else milestone-wise. We can work on turning in tickets to get building parts from the awesome shop. We can work on uh, showing you the uh, the fuel setup. I'll do that offline. Ooh, mother. Ooh. And then... Oh, it's back already. But, yeah, we can't do anything. Oh, we filled up all the Katerium. We can fill up. Um, and we'll work on, like I said, awesome shop stuff. Because then we can start getting into blueprints. Blueprints. Blueprints so we can build some factories. Mini factories. We have no more milestones. We have to do those. Okay, fine. Cool. Where are we at as far as uh, tickets go? I've had two two or three of these things running. on. Uh, I got up 94. Should be enough should be enough. Uh, DNA points until next coupon. A thousand. Um, the DNA, we could turn in DNA stuff too, but eh, I don't really care about that right now. Damn it. Okay, so double double space. Okay, whoops. Double space does that. I don't want to. I don't want to use up all my fuel. Um, we need to find out if there's a better fuel for that. Another time. I'll do that research. Anywho. Uh, that's it for now. I want to thank y'all for watching. It's been getting exciting for me to do all this, but it's also, man, it's it's a mess. It's, it's like my brain in here. And like I said, we want to get organized. We want to get organized. So once we do that, we'll be good to go. Um, until then, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hey, you know what? If you like what you see, if you're having fun at least, uh, you know, throw a like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Patreon is there. I don't really care about Patreon that much, so if you don't really do that, but you can buy me a coffee. I've had people buy me coffee for, you know, doing a, you know, attaboys for the work, which is great. I'll take it. Um, I like coffee. like the jitter juice very much so. But, uh, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's all we got going on. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Thank you.